Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Horse Lords in Crusader Kings 2. I was looking around at the clans a little bit, and they seem to be feisty, causing some problems. I think it's kind of cool how um, they're all doing all that stuff, I'm completely not using those mechanics. We just have the biggest population, and they can all just kind of mess around, it's fine with me. Hey Kabar, you have the second most population, I think you need to split your clan. Split clan? Split clan, split clan! Would you accept? He would not accept. He does not think that I have enough power. Spymaster man. Okay, well, where is, uh, where's your capital? We're gonna sick our guy on you. I, I created you, you dummy. I'm gonna improve relations with you a bit. How are you doing on factions? Still have an independence faction. They're not very happy to be part of our country. So let's see, what can we do to you? Can I burn down your stuff? No? Can I revoke your title? Sure can, and he'd say yes. All other non-nomad vassals by 20. So we don't really care about the minus 20 with non-nomads. Yeah, I think we want to get rid of you. You're dumb. I want to revoke that title, thank you. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me! A learned Jewish man has appeared at your court! Cool. His name is Levi. Give me the land. I humbly accept your decision to revoke the High Chieftain of Mordva. Good. It's mine now. So now we have a bunch of vassals here who are all going to be rather pissy. And of course he's very upset. He owns four provinces himself. Revoked my title. And if I try to revoke more... <laughs> yeah... Can I just kill you? <laughs> just revoke more. Why not? We're going to oppress the pagans. Thank you. Oh, he lost all... What? How did... He had four titles, I only revoked one. How did he become unlanded? Village. Burn it down. I mean, I feel like the 50 prestige loss and the their, their opinion penalty, I don't care about that. As so long as I'm not making a horrible, horrible mistake where like these guys actually hate me. But no, I read it right. I read it right. That they don't they don't care. These pagans are just like, sure. I guess just take our country, okay? Will do! We'll turn it into horse grazing lands. I don't know why they're all willing to say yes. Like, it's got negative one for power, negative two for base, and they just still say yes. Okay. Thank you. This is gonna put me over the limit. Now we're gonna have problems. Apparently not. Wow, I can have 12 provinces and there's no problem with that? Holy crap. I thought I was going to get into a situation where like that was really unacceptable. Obviously, we throw this person, this priest, into prison. King of Armenia? No. We do not want to convert. We want this effortless, incredibly awesome expansion ability. Look at all this freaking land we have. Our population is going to get 64,000! Holy shit! That is a lot of people! All of a sudden. Alright. So much for being able to do an invasion, CB. I mean, we could do the invasion. Not this one. We could do the, uh... Subordination and then revocation. I mean, all this is going to cost us is 300 prestige, and we have 2100. Let's see if prestige still works the way that I remember. Do we have 20 bonus opinion with you from prestige? We do. So we should wait until we have more than 2300 prestige, and then we just declare an invasion war. Is there seriously another Byzantine revolt? Can you seriously stop me from sieging again? 
Alright, my boy. There's no marriages available. None. At all. That doesn't seem right. Oh, it's because he's in hiding. Hey. Come on, in hiding. There we go. We have random courts here. Um, she is an acceptable wide wife. And our courtier wants to be our steward. Uh, no. No more priestesses. There are no none of buildings here, but I, I want to loot this down again. Actually, what I want to do is I want to invade the Byzantine Empire. We do have manpower, and we do have money. And, uh, well, we're about to build something. Let's wait until we get our building started so that we make sure... Look at all these random horses just standing everywhere. It's kind of nice. These horses have this flag. These horses have this flag. Hunting parties. Population growth plus one. Sheep. I mean, we're actually probably making, yeah, 30 ducats a year now from Nomad Tax because our population is getting pretty big, so... It's starting to mean that the Nomad Tax modifier would be kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and get the clan gathering halls. Just make sure that we don't have any issues keeping control of the clan. It is said that your half-brother has turned into a very experienced commander. Excellent. So who's our heir right now? Our half brother. Yeah, I mean, I would not mind becoming him at all. He's he's a badass. All right, come on, burn down this castle. I almost feel like looting it detracts from your ability to burn it down, which actually gives you more money and gives you technology points. Like we've been doing these technology points, we just haven't actually accrued enough in any one category, any one category, to be able to spend them. Which is, uh, too bad. Our population is growing by 314 a month now. Oh no! Now we're no- now we're no longer incapable, we're in- we're incapable now instead of infirm. Still, we have plus one from our, uh, oh we can't choose a focus. We lost our focus. Oh, well, f damn. Can't pick any focus. Crap. Yeah, we're not long for this world. Oh, that's too bad. Nubile Concubines helps out with prestige. I suppose what we could do is, since we're going to die soon, we might as well declare and use the prestige that we have to start a war. And then use that war. Ooh, the Magyars are totally easy to kill. But then again, Bulgaria's got so much more territory to it. It's just as easy to take. What would you say? Oh, damn. Needs to be approved by a regent. Son of a bitch. What's wrong with my regent? Steward, you love me. Why don't you approve these things? You master seducer man. Alright, once again, we cannot, we're cannot we not looting down provinces that are occupied by Byzantine revolt. It's really quite strange. But we can burn the castles and everything down again, so... Alright, maybe as one of our last acts as this character, we will split this clan. Our spy master is getting too strong again. Remember we broke off... That guy. No, we broke that guy off from him. And he's not doing much with his land. But this guy, our spy master, he's, he's getting kind of crazy. I can't ask you to do it. Why not?
You have the most population after us, don't you? Needs to be approved by your regent. Damn it. What's the advantage to having more of these guys? We can never really get beyond 9, and we're already at 6. I do want to get it up to 9. See what that feels like. But, like... Each individual clan... I mean, it is, if, if it was all consolidated into just one big clan, you'd still just have a huge civilian population. Huge... Like, it doesn't seem like you actually get any bonuses per clan. I don't know. Alright, I am ready to die. Kill the puppy. Kill the hunting dog. Get rid of the health. I'm ready. Take me now. We'll build the... Probably something else with the clan... Yeah, the, another clan gathering hall. Let's just make sure that they like us. It's like playing as a republic, you know? Our son became a brilliant strategist. Oh, God. Yes, please. Look at all that prestige. How'd you get so much prestige already, anyway? Dynasty prestige? Yeah. Alright, my boy. You need a real life princess of Bulgaria. She's got horrible stats. But yes, you need a princess. That way, it'll just be good. Make babies. Oh, you, you have to become a mercenary guy. I mean, I don't even care if it affects our manpower. You have to. You're so good. I need you to get better. You know, impregnate your wife first. Did she go with you? She is the spy master of Papi Sisk Sarband. Yeah. So you brought your wife with you. You have a court full of people. And you made her into your spy master. Very nice. This is what's really fun about this is you go to the, the mercenaries tab, sort by cost, and we should see a bunch of our dynasty members in here. We've got our son. He's got 111 dudes. We've got Kissa, who's got 137. I mean, what causes these armies to grow, I wonder? This guy's actually got 175 now. And then our heir, our half-brother, has got 55. 55? My IQ, 55. Girlfriend's age, 55. Uh, propose that... Hmm. Yeah. Looks like we, uh... Have another Byzantine revolt that we got put down. Shall we spend some manpower to just go kill some Byzantine soldiers? And we have such a huge advantage. And we're leading combat, despite being incapable. I feel like you shouldn't be able to lead troops when you're incapable. Oh, that's funny. I, I want to burn it down to the absolute ground. I want to just destroy the castle. They're not allowed to have a castle. We have a daughter who needs an educator. Uh, let's see. Everyone loves us. I mean, we are at 100 opinion. I feel like this has changed on me. You used to be able to see why they liked you. Now you can't. Go be educated by that that man. So we can create a whole bunch of titles. Not really much of a reason to do that. I'm aside from maybe bumping up Dynasty Prestige or something. This doesn't feel like it's actually been doing much. Um, I don't know that there's a war we can declare. He's no longer kind, that's fine. I don't think there's a war that we can declare that our regent would approve of. No, he just he just doesn't approve of war. He's a content little whiner. Is there is there nobody that you would let me pick on? 
Hmm. Now I know I don't. I don't think I expanded all the way over here by myself, did I? Maybe I did. All right, I'm, I'm about. I'm. I've had about enough of this. You need to get out of here. A son was born named Behor. Our, our family is very clever when it comes to naming. My name Behor. Baby named Behor. Name him Behor. Sounds good. Yes, steward, you may have my court. If you'll please allow me to declare war. Yeah, whatever you want. I can lead troops, but I can't declare war. We're not fit for any kind of work. <laughs> and yet we can lead troops. Personal combat skill minus 10. It's fine. It's good enough. Somehow our wife is still alive, by the way, despite being a lunatic, and she's in the Ublet. She's been in there for a long time. Our Regency, our Regency is stealing from us. Alright, I think we're going to hire a few more troops. Just lots of them. Our population is growing spectacularly. It is said that he's become known as a very en energetic. Cool. So we're at, um, what are we at right now? We've got maximum monthly manpower growth plus 424. Wow. So despite the fact that we have no we have minus 50% due to all of these mercenary companies, and yet we're still gaining... Well, potential's 424, we're actually only getting 23. Okay, so it is really costing us a huge amount of manpower to support all these mercenary companies, but it feels like kind of the right way to do things, you know? This looks kind of cool. I like that. Excellent! New regents. Maybe he's more in favor of war. Damn it! How about against the Bulgarians? I mean, is this what is this called? Is this EU4? We're playing. We're playing EU4 now. Goddamn Regency Council! Kill me! Please kill me! <laughs> I don't want to live. I want to die. I want to kill. I want to attack people. Come on. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... Let's get the army all combined. Looted expires in May of next year, so... We could probably siege them down soon. Let's go piss them off again. No, there's not really much to do there. Alright, I guess we just go do some regular old-fashioned looting. I mean, there's like, you know, a solid 36 ducats to take along the coast of this guy. Mm, the coast. Ah. Alright, let's, uh, we'll do this. We're gonna combine. We're gonna go split V, split V. Split V. Split. Split, split. Split. actually 1500 troops that's actually kind of sizable who can we pick on are you at war what are you people doing here well he's just hanging out okay well I don't really want to go let's just it's too far we'll just stay here we'll just stay here till we die and then we'll be able to declare a war I've gained prestige stupid Stupid region. Can I push him off of the... Like, the thing? I can't change who my designated regent is. Not not while we already have one. Uh, he's just a random courtier. <laughs> I'll give you money. Here's money. May I please go to war? 
got 11,000 troops now. It's just base reluctance. There's just there's just nothing about it. There's just nothing. He just doesn't want us to go to war. All right. Well, be that way. Uh, I'm gonna take a break here then. Just gonna sit around and wait till we die. I'm too good at living. Just like my wife. All right. I'm going to build one more building, and then I'm going to take... Ah, damn. Yeah, I'm going to take a break here. Alright, see you soon.